Hello there, it's me, Mom Anna. If you're just new to our channel, then welcome. If you have been subscribed, welcome back. We finished discussing about the meaning of philosophy and the importance of philosophizing and the branches of philosophy. So if you haven't watched those videos, I will just post the link on the description box below. So now, let's have a recap. When we do philosophy, we philosophize. And doing philosophy means engaging oneself in wondering and seeking answers to our questions and even evaluating our arguments in order to arrive at truth. The first most essential learning competency in the introduction to the philosophy of the human person is to distinguish holistic perspective to partial point of view. In explaining this, I will give you an example. Sia's children had a fight and the younger son cried. Here are the two possible responses. Response A is that Sia scolded the older brother without hearing his side of story. Response B is that Sia listened to both her children's stories before making a conclusion. Which do you think is a more desirable response? If we're going to associate it to our lesson, response A is an example of partial point of view. Partial point of view focuses on the specific aspects of the problem. So in here, the individual just focuses the attention on the, on the specific area or aspects of the problem in order to understand it. It's like when you are viewing this, you're just looking at the dot. Then if your answer is response B, then we are talking about the holistic perspective. Holistic perspective refers to a view that considers a large-scale patterns in a system. It's like you are looking at a big picture. So it's like in this image, you're not just looking at the dot, but you're looking at the whole image, at the whole picture. So in order to understand it better, Let's scrutinize the two perspectives. In partial point of view or thinking, it looks at only limited number of aspects of the given problem or situation. And the conclusions are made based on considering some but not all sides of the problem or situation. In holistic perspective or thinking, it looks at it looks at all aspects of the given problem or situation. All aspects are given importance when making conclusions and are tied in together to form a general overview of the problem or situation. So it's like when a doctor diagnoses his patient's illness, he will just ask, the patient about his physical symptoms and will prescribe an appropriate medicine onto it. But when he uses holistic perspective, he will not only depend on the physical symptoms that the patient is experiencing, but will also try to dig deeper into the lifestyle or the background of the patient. And that's a time that he can conclude and prescribe the appropriate medicine or advice on to what on how to treat his illness between the two which do you think is being used in philosophy then if your answer is holistic perspective then you are correct 
In the process of doing philosophy, it is very important to understand the holistic perspective. That is looking at all sides of the problem before making a conclusion. Now, I want you to think of this situation. How do you usually react when somebody has gone viral because of some scandalous acts? Do you condemn them or you usually reserve your judgment until you get all the facts? If you were to use holistic perspective, which of the two will be your reaction? Remember, a holistic perspective does not only encourages us to be critical, but also to be more considerate in dealing with others. I want you to reflect and answer the following questions. So first, have you used holistic perspective in looking at a problem or a situation? If yes, did it have a positive result? Number two, how can having a holistic view help us become better individuals? So here's some words to ponder. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. According to Wayne Dire. So, so that's it. I hope you have learned something from this simple lesson in holistic perspective and partial point of view. Please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated to my videos and my husband's instructional videos. Stay safe everyone. God bless. See you again on my next one. Bye.